Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers where today we're going to be taking a deeper dive into the signals update. So not really the DLC side or not showing off all the box but we're going to actually have a look at specifically this bad boy the action relay which is to be honest the main part of this update. It allows you to wirelessly communicate between different grids. Now I'm going to show you an example of it working right in front of here. I'm going to show you another cool example over there. And I'm actually also going to show you how to build it and how simple it is to actually do. So without further ado, let's get straight on today's video. So starting off with the action relay. If you actually was to go inside the action relay, you'll see it's got from 1 to 100 channels. And it's also got a uh, faction, owner or everyone different uh how you can basically receive the signals so if you want you can only set it to yourself which means one to a hundred that's only going to be your own blocks so as long as the owner of the block is you that's the only signals you're going to get from faction if the uh, action relay is within your faction so it could be your friend who's in your faction if if one of the channels is set to that then it'll work or everyone Basically, if you're on a server and there's hundreds of people, wouldn't recommend that one. But it's quite simple with that. Uh, you set the channels and then you set up actions. And that's basically how it works. It's, it's not too complicated. So, in this case, what I need to do... Well, in this case, this action relay doesn't need to do anything, right? So, we, we have two signals, right? So, we got... Action relay, so this basically sends a signal, and then we've got increase and decrease the channels. The channels are these. Over here, we have one action relay, which is set to channel 1, and one action relay over here, which is set to channel 2. Now, these action relays have uh, actions on them, and they are just to toggle the lights on and off, so you'll be able to see. So, currently, it's we're set to channel 1, which means if I press this button, you can see that light turns on. If I was then to increase to number 2 and click that button, number 2 turns on. You'll see they're both on. If I click the button, it turns off. And I click down and click the button, you see that one turns off. Very simple. Simple wireless connection. If I head over to here, this mining ship... A nice simple mining ship. I wish to hop into this. And let's say let's say I just come back from a mining run, right? And this is what my base looks like. It's a very simple base. Right? Um so I'm I'm approaching and I click number or I click select the action relay and go BAM. As you can see, the door opens up wirelessly. I don't even have to come close to it. I can fly in. I can do my own thing, you know, I can turn around, and I can also close the door behind me without needing to do anything in particular. Isn't that nice? And then when I need to leave, click the button again, the door will open, and I'm free to pass through. And then I'll click it again, it'll close back up. Now, action relays are, like I said, very simple, as you can see with that demonstration and same with this one. All you need is a grid with the action relay and an antenna. And then on the base that you're receiving, an antenna and an action relay. So that's the same with these ones, as you can see, the small ones, they both needed antennas on to be able to function. And the antenna distance does affect it. Like if I was to set this to one meter, now, this antenna it cannot re like reach this one. So if I was to then try and do it, it wouldn't work. But if I was to then increase the signal back up and click the button again, it'll turn back on. So think about that when you're actually building and make sure you have antennas and they're within the range that they need to be. Now, this design isn't too... Well, this is a bit more complicated, obviously, than that one. But still, not that complicated. If I was to go into the action relay block, I've just got it set on channel <laughs> 69. Nice. 
and no action needed for this side. It's we're purely just sending data. We're not receiving any. So we have that, and if I go around to the back where I can get in, you'll see this action relay is also set to channel 69. And then in the set of actions, it's starting the gate timer open close one, which happens to be this timer block right here. And then this timer block is this is allowing the LCD panels to change the picture, starting the other timer block and also toggling on the lights. And this is the other timer block, which is purely just changing the uh, up. The way I'm switching between, if I was to open this gate here, just to see through, you'll see here I have these signs and the signs change. The way I do that is purely just by changing the time of which you can change what's on the screen. So the image change interval. So the first one is changing it up to a second and then immediately a second later changing it back down. So what it does is it changes the picture but then doesn't have time to change it back so it sticks. So then the next time you send that signal it, it increases, it can change it back. Quite, quite a simple design. And then, yeah. So that's like that. Now let's let's build let's let's build another one, shall we? So let's show how simple it is. So let's place two timer blocks. I need to place the uh, action relay, and we're going to set this one to forty-two. Okay. And then also we're going to set this one to oh we're going to come up here, name this timer block eight two. Oh, I guess we should do it this way. Gate okay, 2, timer block. Open close. Oops. Gate okay, 2, timer block. Op open close. Nice and easy. And then in the set of actions, we need to go to the groups. Uh, gate. Gate 2. I'll set that to zero, that to silent. Oops. Right, so gate 2. We're going to set to open close. And then gate two LCDs, we're going to increase image change interval. And then we're also going to start this timer block, which is going to come over here. We're going to set that to one second. We're going to go to groups, and then we're going to change the LCD panel of this one back to... Uh, decrease change image interval. And that should be technically everything we need to do. It should That should all, be all you need. And then when I come over here, if I've done everything right, and I go to the action relay, and I change my channel to 42, now when I press it, nothing happens. What have I done wrong? Okay, so, action relay. 42. Ah. Now that would help if I actually triggered the whole thing. Now, if we go to the seat. Okay, so if we press number 5, you see everything works. Now this one's slightly different actually to the other one. So you see that everything happens pretty much instantly. In the other one what I actually did was instead of having the gate opening there, I actually had the gate opening here. I'll show you that. And this is pure preference of how you do it. I'm also using 
sideways gaze instead of, you know, airtight hangar doors. So, you see there, it switches and then, then it opens a second later. But I think these, I think gates sideways is actually really cool. Have them next to each other because you see the ship is plenty, plenty big enough to fit through two of them doors. But in fact, it can actually fit through a single door. That's kind of how impressive uh, the gates are and under underutilized. The one downside is it's, it hasn't got a middle point. But, you know, small price to pay. But yeah, that is the action relay. Really, re a really cool block, a very simple block. But yeah, hopefully that all made sense and hopefully you'll be able to use them in your build. So let me know in the comments down below what sort of things you can use these action relays for. I've obviously shown you how you could use it in terms of a base to open doors. Well, what would you use it for? But that's where I'm going to end today's video. So hopefully you did enjoy today's video. And hopefully you learned something about these action relays. As always, my name is Bean Quantum Chief. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.